Forests in the Northwest are under attack from insects. Bark beetles have always been around, but recently the problem's getting worse. Meteorologist Leah Pizzetti digs into why as part of our series, Environment Northwest. At first glance, this might seem like a normal bit of forest, but look up. You'll notice the red dead tops of the trees. Those tell a different story. He's an expert hunter. Just saves a lot of time of hatchet work. Looking for a tiny critter having a catastrophic impact on our forest. Okay. Popcorn looking holes show where the adults enter to lay their eggs. Small holes show where the larvae emerge. The red color of the top of the tree marking the impact of the bark beetles. Um, that means a tree died really quickly. It's late in the season, but Washington State entomologist Glenn Kohler finds one example of this insect still hiding in the tree. So this is an adult bark beetle. So you can see how small they are. Of bark beetles, he says only about a dozen types are considered pests. In the Northwest, the different types of beetles prey on different types of trees. Some beetles attack trees that are already dead, some that are on the verge of death because of drought, and some that are packed too close together, threatening each other. There's definitely a correlation between uh, risk of bark beetle outbreak damage and stand density. Uh, and it's always going to be a higher risk when you have a more dense stand and more competition. Kohler says the State Department of Natural Resources flies over millions of acres of land every year, counting the dead trees. And they're seeing an increase in dead trees in the last decade. But the problem is we've been having those kind of regularly and longer periods. And so you get this cumulative effect and whatever uh, defense resources the tree has are, are really compromised. And so the beetle numbers are going up as a result of, of the drought stress issue. And once the trees die, comes another issue. They fall and blanket the ground. One of the kind of side effects in some areas of this can be increased risk of wildfire um, in stands like this where you have very high density amounts of dead trees. It can be a lot of fuel buildup. There are solutions though. It's the fun part of my job. I get to walk with landowners. We talk about all the goals that they have for their property. A mission boosted by Washington State House Bill 1168 in 2021, which gives $125 million every two years to increase wildland fire response. That money supports DNR's Katie Zander, who visits with private landowners to make sure they're spacing out trees to keep beetles away and keeping them trim in the right places. During this time, we will walk their forest stand and we'll take a look at their forest structure. That's the most important thing. It seems like, yeah, we want to keep green up high, but it's the down low on the ground. That's where we want to really control. That's exactly right. These ladder fuels, whether it's a low hanging branch that's getting down to the ground, a short tree that's meeting up with some low hanging branches or some brush growing into the canopies of the trees. That's what we're looking to reduce out on these properties. Steps that need to be taken on both public and private land because these beetles don't know borders. As long as there's susceptible hosts out there or the drought conditions continue and other factors that are keeping their populations high continue, then we're just going to see more and more acres with bark beetle mortality. In the meantime, they're keeping an eye on these forests, monitoring the major impacts from these small insects. For Environment Northwest, I'm meteorologist Leah Pizzetti.